Hello, everyone. Welcome back to City Skylines. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. We still have some flood problems to solve, and uh, we're going to take a look at the existing problems that we have today. Now, the water level is still rising slightly, and it might actually still get us flooded here, even though I've raised it up. But we're going to try to put a stop to the flow, or at least slow down the flow today, and make some money at the same time. We'll see if it works. Uh, right now, we currently have some water coming up right in this area. But it's really affecting over here a lot more. This is probably one of the lower areas here on the wall. Uh, not the lowest area, but it's pretty low. And so we have uh, definitely some flooding issues going on over here as well. And it's kind of bleeding over into this area too. If I come over here though, these poor people are getting like hurricane style weather here. As unfortunately they have been hit by a flood. As this part here is just a little bit too low and it's just kind of going right up in there now these guys are above are uphill so we probably won't get this area flooded but these guys just keep rebuilding the more it floods they just keep rebuilding over and over again uh so i'm gonna go ahead and just tell them not to do that for the time being and just try to get them to not rebuild in this flooded area uh for now uh so that they don't have to constantly be disappointed by that uh, and i'm also going to clear out these houses too although to be honest these ones probably don't need to be cleared out these guys might be fine if they don't flood then they can stay okay how about that if you're not gonna flood then you can stay but uh chances are you are going to flood and uh yeah you guys can probably get out of here too okay over here it's also too low uh way too low in fact this entire road here is pretty much underwater now and uh if i redirect the flow which is what i was gonna do before the the, the city is now a grand city we're at level 14 and I've already unlocked all the tiles that I wanted uh, through here. So we now have access to a lot more land. I've got access to all of this stuff over here, which is where I was going to redirect this river. I've also got access to over here, which has got some farmable land as well. And uh, I went ahead and got something over here so that we can... Uh, I think I already had this, but I flattened it. I forgot what I did last night, to be honest. Um, but I think this is right here going to be a new landfill. I want to get that stuff away from people. And this stuff kind of looks like landfill trash anyway. So uh, at least from a distance, it kind of looks the same. So we're going to put the landfill over here. And that gives the garbage trucks like really quick access to the highway and stuff to get around and get over there. While keeping everything away from people. So we'll end up having one landfill over here and one landfill over here. And they, the trucks can just kind of come into the middle and get the things and then get out. Right. And that's kind of the general idea. We'll probably have another one over here at some point that can go in from this side. And we might put another one over here, which can come out from this side. All right. Uh, now... I was going to redirect this river to come all the way around here and dump the water into here. And I may still do that. But now that we've upgraded to having a grand city, we have another option. And I'm definitely going to be employing that option. And that is to come over to our power services. We can do emergency battery stations, producing a low amount of noise pollution, but also like we're, we're going to have, you know, batteries right essentially right reduces the negative impacts of building suffering when there's no electricity so there's that and we can now get hydroelectric power all right that's gonna be a big thing and hopefully this slows down the water flow i don't know if it does which is why i got that backup plan of redirecting the water but even though even then if i'm gonna redirect the water that's still gonna dump more water down this way this area is still gonna be flooded if i do that so i'm kind of thinking like this whole area here is just in for a world of hurt if I uh, if I don't do something about it. What I'm actually considering doing is just gutting this whole thing and raising the terrain, rebuilding it all from scratch. I may need to do that. Uh, over here, it looks like it's going to eventually have some problems as well if I don't uh, address it really quickly. So on this side, you know, this wall is really close to flooding here too. You can see how you can see how incredibly close we are to just you know even we still have a little bit of a of a water bleed right there too so uh first thing let's do is get the hydroelectric power in now, i've never done this before so i don't exactly know what the rules of this is but uh i'm gonna guess and say that i can probably go in make this a little bit wider here i want to make this like a lot wider can we just kind of go about like let's say here and let's just make this about like that and then from here we'll just kind of make this sort of a waterfall sort of thing happening right here okay so what i'm looking to do that's gonna you know increase the flow of water into here 
but now we're going to place geo uh sorry yeah, not geothermal we're going to place hydroelectric power here so what i'm hoping to do maybe is get it to be say about here whoops that's not what i wanted to do at all let's uh, redo this let's redo redo this there we go all right so i want something to be relatively flat on this side i'm not really sure exactly how long it needs to be or how we're going to connect things but i do not own that tile so i'm going to have to just go work around that but we have you know relatively flat up here right and then uh, we're going to have the same elevation over here as well so we got this over here and then uh with this being level all the way out this way right and then we can just kind of fill that in if we want right just kind of make that like that and then we're going to want to fill this in part two so we're just going to take this and make this sort of a downhill slope thing it doesn't look quite like a cliff anymore all right let's just I don't know Bob Ross paint this and blend it all in right and uh maybe even make it a little bit more gradual we'll we'll go ahead and do something like this right and just make a stair steppy kind of thing with this right and then we we'll blend that and it'll make it even more gradual downhill right so just real quick paint like that seems good and we can do a little bit on this side too okay now what we want to do I think with this uh because the water is going to start flowing through here is we want to add a dam so a dam that spans the river produces electricity by harness the flow of water with turbines can be upgraded with advanced turbines all right so lots of noise pollution but it's way away from the people and what I hope we can do here is place it yeah kind of like this so it really picks up you see how it's, it's red right there like there's a lot of flow right there right and that's what I'm kind of hope, hoping to harness is to create a situation where there's a lot of flow and then harness that flow um so if I maybe go just a little bit more like this and then let's make this just slightly yeah like that there we go if I can do something like this creating a lot more flow in the river here right it's like a little red we're, we're, get, we're getting some good flow there now I want to have this hydroelectric dam is going to come right over like this and just pops in right there okay now we need a couple of things with this dam we need it hooked up with the roads so we can get out this way but we also need the power itself to be hooked up too and so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this road right here I'm not sure if this is elevated enough but I really hope it is I mean technically this road is higher than this one so if this isn't high enough then the rest of the city is screwed uh and that's just the way it goes man having a I didn't realize the water level is going to rise this fast this rapidly so we're going to bring this road it's a big thick road out this way we'll, we'll go maybe about this far with this one and then we can make it a little bit more narrow from this point it doesn't need to be quite so big after as it gets out here so we'll say about there is good okay and uh we'll continue it uh, as we make this all flatter and everything we'll we'll continue this road but what I primarily want to do here is let's make it like an extra road that goes out this way and hooks up to the dam on this side like so it doesn't have to be pretty it just has to be connected all right so there it is all right so the next thing is we need a place to put the power so we're going to come over here we're going to grab the ther ter ter uh sorry the transformer station all right uh and I, I don't know if this is high it looks like it's high voltage so we should be good with just placing this little station here and then having power lines run from here to there that should be good enough to just provide power to the rest of the city using the dam as a way of doing that now does this reduce the flow of water it should right it definitely should reduce the flow of water and hopefully cause the water level to drop because we are absolutely obstructing that flow for the sake of getting power right so we'll have to see if this works is it is it coming out the right direction uh oh I think it has to build up before it starts flowing down right yeah 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 so this is obviously makes the water level rise until it gets to up here and then it opens the flood doors isn't that how that works I actually don't know exactly how the dam works but I'm pretty sure that's how that overflow works right it's, it's guys it has to get up a certain level and then it comes through the the opening here but I wanted to see it like graphically I wanted to see it flowing uh down so I was kind of hoping that I would be able to see that and as fast as this river has been flowing I would hope that this would happen sooner than this but the water does seem to rise 
in my opinion, slower than it would in real life here. But if I can come over on this side and see this flow down, that'd be awesome. And then uh, if we take a look at the flow of water now, it still seems like it's pretty fast through here, right? Maybe, a, I mean, I don't think a secondary dam would work, but hey, maybe. There's a difference in elevation. Why not? We can even have a secondary dam. But let's just see what that does to our water level over time here. So will we see this still be... See, the water's going away there. That's a good sign. It's a really good sign. If you come over here, I'm hoping to see this stop being so badly flooded. Uh, there's obviously some water still here. But if we can see the water start to clear up here, that'd be great. Because again, that dam should be stopping this river from like overpowering us. And then obviously there's this area here, which has been decimated by water and will probably have to be rebuilt anyway, but uh, it's okay. I just wanted to take a quick look and see if that dam's gonna work. And I still don't see the water flowing down here, which is a real, it should be. It's reached the doors. Release the river. <laughs> Seriously, release it. Release the river. It's currently producing over a megawatt of power. So that's pretty good, I guess. If we put another dam across here, I'm wondering if that will also produce some power. Let's just check that out. Let's see. And I, again, I don't know if this is realistic or not. You have two dams, one here and one there or anything. But, you know, I just want to check it out and see what it does. Right. So uh, if I go, say, um, Actually, from right here would be fine, wouldn't it? Yeah. I guess that that would start to flood this area, though. We wouldn't want to do that. So I think maybe we'll take it from this point. So we'll say maybe from right here. And on this side, too, we'll have it be about that same elevation. All right. So we got some really good flow through here last I checked, right? There's a pretty good, pretty fast flowing through here, too. So if we were going to make another dam that lets me. Yeah, it'll let me make two. I'm going to get another dam that goes across like this. And that will stop that water, but it only stops at this level. So, you know, it's still going to be, uh, should technically be lower than that. I think, I think, you know, pretty much everywhere else. This is drying up contrary to what I said in the last video. Sorry about that. Didn't want to confuse you, but, uh, uh, I just, I, I had a little bug and it did get corrected after time. So like it, I had water just never drying up here. And then I came back to record the second half of that video. And, uh, when I loaded the save, it was all, it was drying up really quickly. So I guess whatever. All right, garbage is piling up. We need additional garbage trucks. So I want to try to do that now. So let's say uh, over here and you might think, well, you should fix the flooding. Okay, the damage has been done, all right? And I'm hoping that the dam does that over time. I won't have to rebuild it. We're just going to see. Uh, I want us to have the garbage landfill over here and uh, we'll put it over here near the water, but not really close. Like, you know, going to give a little bit of space here against the water. So I'm going to say maybe about here is where this could go. Right, and then the landfill will go. Let's bring it all the way out to here. Yeah, how about right here? And then we'll just go around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. And I think we'll stop at a 90 degree here, and then we can have other facilities on this side, like recycling centers and stuff. So we can probably bring that uh, to here, I suppose. So we'll go about, about here and then just bring it over. Not quite 90 degrees, a little bit off, but I think it's good enough. All right, so that gives us that. Now, over here, we're going to need uh, a new uh, inter uh, inter interchange or whatever, a new on and off ramp, right, kind of set, set up here. So uh, I'm going to remove these high voltage cables. We actually don't need these unless we obviously want to sell power, so that's why we need them. But um, we don't need them to keep our city powered. And uh, I want to go over to my highways. Uh, let's go to intersections, actually. We'll just create one that already exists. And, you know, the teardrop roundabout would be fine in this area, I think. Um, supposed to be, yeah, facing this way. I think it would be fine for this area to go something like this, but it doesn't seem to want to cooperate. I might need to just, I think I will just uh, delete the whole thing and replace it. I think that's probably the best thing to do here. So we'll just re re do this, get rid of this whole thing all the way out this way. Uh, let's go. Yeah, we'll keep it about like there. And then we'll see if maybe this can, uh, serve us well here in this situation. So we'll say maybe about there. Okay. Yeah. And this is going underneath and then back up. And then we have the little roundabout thingy. This is kind of a cool little arrangement here. 
I wonder if this would work for our workers and resources playthrough. I might take a look at this. This is kind of an interesting little setup. I don't think I've ever... I mean, maybe I've driven through these and just didn't know it, but um, I think it looks pretty cool. All right, so we'll connect that to here and connect that to here. Seems good. And then on this side, we will connect you to there and connect you to there. And then what I want to do is make sure that everything is seamless in the ex exit and, and getting off uh, process. So to do that, we will upgrade and make sure that this has plenty of room to merge over to get out. Plenty of room to merge over and get out like that. There we go. Uh, and then uh, I don't need to upgrade that, I don't think. Not yet, anyway. Uh, I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of people coming in from this side. It's mostly going to be garbage trucks and stuff that are exiting and then whipping around and going that way. And then also the garbage trucks are going to be going out that direction, too. So uh, that stuff will happen. Um, so I don't think I'm going to need a whole lot on this direction. So I guess I'll extend it a little bit, but not going crazy with it. All right, seems good, uh, I think, for that. We'll go ahead and turn that back on. And then the final thing we need to do, of course, is reconnect the high voltage lines. There we go. And now everything is uh, kosher, All right? So we're going to say at this point that uh, I think we want to level this to about here. Seems like a good place to go, to go and do it. Uh, level it to about here. Yeah, there we go. Seems good. Uh, we'll go ahead and just have this go all the way across like that and then across like this and we'll have this whole area kind of start to get flattened here probably have some additional industries here maybe some more stone or you know, you know livestock things like that that don't require fertile land we'll probably start doing that in this area because we can and we'll make that like nice and flat and then uh from here i want to start to blend this make this more of a slope that we can just kind of climb up into uh, and then from over here we're going to have this all be flattened to be level with this area so i want this landfill to kind of all be flattened as well so i can place buildings here so i guess we'll probably extend this out a little bit more there we go and then right like this uh-huh there we go there we go and then uh finally on this side where the water is just want to make sure that we have a firm wall in case the water level rises on a firm wall right there just so it doesn't get up over top of it so if this island disappears then fine but uh, hopefully the water doesn't creep up and uh and get into our trash area we don't want the trash mixing with the river okay and this is actually like an extra bit here too which is interesting to me might even be able to make this sort of a port and ship goods out of here and have it go up river which i don't know you really don't want to go up river with boats but boats do it so you know not, it wouldn't be the first boats to do it. it wouldn't be the last boats to do it all right we'll just make this a little bit more of a slope here at this point and then let's go ahead and get our road and we're going to want to make a road all the way across this to give them their ins and outs that they want we'll go this way with it um or maybe we won't hang on uh if i want to have the recycling center be next to this I need this to be, I guess it could be on this side, you know, we could have a recycling, recycling center actually can be closer to the highway too, because it doesn't have to, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to, you know, have the landfill element of it. So we could actually place this closer to the, to the road, like maybe over here in this area. Where's the, where's the. Okay, the road is on that side. So we're going to want to place it about here, I think. Uh, let's do it on this side. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it on this side. Give it a little bit more space away from the highway. Just a bit. We'll go about here with it. Yeah, that works for me. So real quick on the flattening we're doing here. Just to flatten that out, give us more space behind that building. You could probably take it all the way to the border, to be honest, but doesn't really matter quite enough to, for me to want to go ahead and do that just go ahead a bit more gradual on this side there we go there we go there we go there we go okay so from this here currently we have an asymmetrical road on this i think i want to upgrade that to uh, allowing for multiple ways of traffic here and actually i think i'd rather 
um, have this be a bit more centered. Yeah, but more like that, I think. Uh, okay, so from there, we're going to take this more centered road. It will go this way about that far, and then it will turn into just the regular old road, I think, at that point. And then uh, let's have it come from, from this side. Uh, and then it will go out about that far. Yep, seems good right there. And then over. Simple. Uh, and then this side will have its own vehicles as well. And then we'll do a one-way kind of situation here where we're going to have the vehicles come in on that side and leave on this side. There we go. And then this can just be a one-way as well. We'll just turn it into a one-way in that direction. Okay? All right. So we have a recycling center. We got trucks. And we can expand that and have even more trucks if we want to. So let's get another truck depot. Pop that in there. Uh, this side over here, we're going to have a uh, another truck depot popped on the tile. And then this one also needs the hazardous waste collection point on the side of it. And that's what I was looking for. So I right, about that much room. I think that room is pretty good. Now we can go ahead and grab the landfill boxes here and just try to hug this building. And I got to figure out how to do that. There we go. Hug the building, but don't overlay it. Because I, I overlaid the other one, and that was a big mistake. So don't want to do that. I'll show you what I mean in a second if you don't know what I mean. Uh, okay. I think that is pretty good. However, I can also go ahead and do this. It does look like this will also work. Ooh, fancy. We can dump garbage on the other side of the road. Why not? Seems fine to me. Huge garbage area right there, right? Huge landfill. Loving it. I could tightly do the... I could wrap I could wrap the road tightly, right? Yeah, yeah. I could wrap the road really tightly like this. There we go. Perfect. Well, perfect-ish. Uh, then we're going to add really quickly a parking lot. Just to give uh, a way for people who are working in these buildings a chance to come over and drive out here and uh, and work in any of these facilities if they want to walk up to them. So we're going to say that there's a parking lot here and here just to do so. Although th the maintenance on this is 7,000 a month a piece. That's a bit extreme. You know, and they have their own parking, don't they? Don't they have like a way for cars to get in and park to work here? I thought they did, but I actually don't know, I guess. Um, you know what? We'll have we'll have them be able to park right here in the center. We'll say they park right here. That's fine. And then these guys over here. Uh, I wanted this parking lot to be shared between the two of them. To be honest, that was the reason why I put it over here in the beginning. Because then they can get out and they can walk that way, or they can walk this way. That's kind of what I was going for before. So you know what? I'll let them do that. And then if for some reason they don't want to walk that way. We'll just promote it a little bit by having a walking path that goes like this. There, now you can walk straight over that way if you want to. I don't think that makes it any shorter, but it's something I did, and I'm going to stick to it now. Uh, all right, so it gives us more garbage trucks. It needs uh, backup sewer. All right, we need all those utilities to be in here too, don't we? Okay, uh, well, I don't really want to... Like, I need a back service road in order to do that. This whole area has those types of services. Maybe there's something I could do here that would allow that. Maybe this road can come out, you know? Like, if I was to redraw the lines on this, I could redraw these lines so that... Uh, can we please? Pretty please? Oh, I get it. You're, like, attached to that now, huh? All right, well, in that case, um, interesting. Yeah, yeah, you're like sharing the fence with this. Hmm. It doesn't look like it'll let me separate it either. Unless it's one of these. If I turn all the snapping off, will that still work? No, it'll still do it. Okay, well, it is what it is then. I guess we'll just leave that alone really quick uh we could have the road from here go around that's doable 
Yeah, we'll just do that. So let's say that this continues to be flattened all the way around like this. And then we go about like this. We'll have a service road, a little gravel service road. Uh, I'm going to want to do something about this first, right? Just make this a little bit more. There we go. Just not quite so rough now. Have the service road kind of come out this way and meet up right there. That's fine. And now that should connect all of these utilities. That these things already have. And they should now have all the same util utilities. And these things have water, sewer. They have all those things. Yeah, yeah. So you guys are good. Okay. So we should see the garbage trucks leave. There we go. And, uh, you know, we can go ahead and just do the full upgrades on these two. I'm, I'm fine with that. We don't need any more of these, right? We don't need any more of these buildings. So we're not going to do that. Uh, this one here, maybe we can have a hazardous waste collection point beyond, uh, maybe on the back side. Let's see. What is it? One, two, three. So I guess from here, it looks like that, that seems appropriate. I think it's this part right here which will allow me to have these. God damn, I don't think so. Where is this one at? I thought I lined this one up before. Where's this one at? Is it on? Oh, so it's directly connected there. Weird. So hold on. If I put you here, that means I can put this one here. So it kind of sticks out the back. I wanted to try to find a way to match that up, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So I guess it's like right on the benches. Yeah, it's right on the benches. So if I was going to line these up along the back side, they would all kind of be set up. So now this would be there, this would be there, and then this one would end up being there. Yeah, okay, good. I know that's kind of pointless, but I did it anyway. Uh, and then I can put a storage extension on that side. All right, so a lot of a lot of trucks going to leave. Head out that way. Uh, don't really want to stop light here, but I guess that's just the way that's going. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's going to be trucks that just have to wait for each other. It'd be nice if I would have been able to do that a little bit differently. How about we we can do this differently? It might... I, I actually don't think it'll be much of a problem. Um, because, like, there's the like the initial wave of trucks. But they're going to be much more spread out over time. So I actually don't think it'll be such a big deal. But what we want to do now is we want to come over to the other landfill... And we want to tell it to begin emptying and it's going to be transported to another garbage facility so i'm going to tell them to start emptying this this is an emergency broadcast to oh. all citizens the fire and rescue service it's way over here fires i don't care about that it's way over there um so we're going to have this start emptying and we're going to hopefully see the stored garbage get decreased it's going to end up getting on the freeway and they're going to take that garbage over here and we'll start filling this one up instead it has twice the capacity as the old one does uh, now we have an accident on the road, which is blocking every single lane. Of course it is. Because freaking of course it is. Uh, we'll have a road maintenance depot be out this way to help with any problems on the freeway. I think that's that's a fine solution to this problem. So road maintenance crews, please go do things. All right. Please go do things. Should I give you another way to get around? I think this is a really niche issue but see they can't get there <laughs> that's the problem they can't get there so hold on let's try something else let's take a one-way road not even a one-way just do a two-way road from here we're gonna go around now because then the other trucks will start using it well shoot isn't this stupid <laughs> i really don't like this system all right fine we're gonna bring another road out this way and connect it right there okay go ahead trucks go get it go 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 fix it come on no no no! don't do this you, you have it it's the lanes right there just use it come on oh you're not gonna use it are you <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna delay the entirety of traffic on the entire freeway from this point it's gonna go all the way back to the border because we can't reach this you can't reach the spot it's kind of stupid to be honest i might just you know what here's another solution i think will work here how you like that yeah? 
You like how that shit works? <laughs> it's so stupid. All right, uh, real quick. Two goes all the way and connects to there. And then we want a three on this road where it's merging over uh, like that. Yep, there we go. Okay, everyone can go back on the freeway and go where they needed to go. We should have like, do we have like little service roads through here? Like, uh, you know how a lot of a lot of places do this, right? They have like down further down the freeway, like maybe right here, we have like a little road. Yeah, like one of these, right? It's just like a little turnaround spot. I wonder if that's a thing that we need in this game because of that little problem that just happened. We do that, right? And then, it, but does that create a stoplight though? No, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to anyway. Yeah, yeah. And this allows some people to just turn around, which might be an issue. I wish I could somehow restrict this to emergency vehicles only. Is there a way to do that? I don't think so. That sucks. All right, I'm going to delete these because I don't want people doing that. <laughs> uh, but still, like, I feel I feel like that's something that we needed in that particular situation, huh? Uh, let's turn the music back on. I don't want to be without that. I like the tunes. I don't know about this particular tune, but I like the tunes. All right, this needs to be connected to power as well and water. So, uh, or and the roads. So we're going to take this road and we're going to connect it. Uh, hey there, can you... No, you're not going to line up, really? About like that. And then uh, we could maybe just connect it to the same point. It, does that work? If I wanted to bring this way up and just connect it to the same? Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, so put another transformer station right next to this like that and then we'll have this be connected there all right we now have even more power even though we can't visually see the water flowing out of these these doors the floodgates right i guess maybe that's not how these work i always thought the water would come out of these i thought that was kind of the whole purpose was like you 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 capture the flow but you allow the overflow Right? I don't know. Maybe that's not how that works, but I thought that's what I thought it was. Either way, we should have a lot of income now with power exports and maybe even enough to where we don't even need this anymore. It's possible that we don't need this. This gas power plant, right? We are making 12 million a month now. <laughs> I think we won the game, you know? I think that, that means we win, right? We can reduce residential taxes. We can reduce all these taxes bring this down and really make our place you know a powerhouse for all industries and all people we can have everybody always wanting to live here right make sure all things are covered by 100 percent health care is going up to 100 percent garbage management bring that up to 100 percent here we go education 100 percent all things are at 100 percent and then we'll see what our budget is there's no reason to go cheap we are we're doing really well there's no reason to go cheap on this uh how is our budget now? I have to probably wait a little bit for everything to register. But and now we're you know we're only up six million, so that, that took a big, pretty big hit, huh? All right, so it looks like the road is the water is starting to come down, but it's still too low here. So we're gonna need to adjust that. Uh, if I come into the middle of the city under the bridge, this part is now firmly above water. Very nice. That means this side is too. Very good. So we have things firmly above water there. So we just have to look at this area. And I, I guess, like I said, I think I'm going to have to rebuild all of it, which, you know, I guess it's fine. We need like higher density and stuff through here anyway, probably. So if I if eliminate this, let's say we take it from this point. This point is sufficiently high enough. So if I get rid of this road, see how it like goes down from there, right? So if I get rid of this road, let's say, there's a lot of people using it though surprisingly a lot more people than i thought would be using it but i'm gonna get rid of this one and then we're gonna just gonna pull this road all the way back all the way through here and i think all of this is gonna get raised up higher all right all of this needs to go even higher and this road does like the whole the whole thing just needs to be redone so uh we're gonna go like that and like that and that means get rid of that building that's fine all of these homes 
You honestly never should have stood a chance anyway. Um, okay, these businesses can all go. We're going to have to redo the land here. So I think these things here need to go as well, just so I can raise things up appropriately. Uh, probably everything on this side is going to need to be raised up. I need the land to be higher. So all of this needs to go. I think probably this needs to go too, but I think instead I can just extend the land out a little bit more. So that's probably the better call. So we'll just extend the land out a little bit more. So let's get rid of these ones and these ones, and then I can do my thing. Okay. First thing I want to do on this side is raise the land up a little bit. So we're going to say about here seems to be the right elevation. And then we're just going to kind of paint ourselves a picture with the land being up even higher. And I'll extend the land out a little bit just to kind of give me that a better baseline there and around like that side. So all of this needs to be raised up about that high. And then this is going to start flooding if I don't raise it up too. So we're going to need to move all of these things too. We'll start with the fire department. Move that over like that. Police station. We're going to move you uh, temporarily. I'm going to slide you over. I don't know. It needs to be somewhere out of the way. We'll put you over there for now. Uh, road maintenance. Let's put you out of the way for now over here. We'll get rid of those roads and we can now go in and just raise this coastline up a little bit higher. All right. So that's a lot higher and it needs to be higher like that so that it doesn't flood. So I think I like that. Um, and I'm going to go just a little bit higher at this point. So just a little bit higher here and uh, raise you up about from here. There we go. And then let's get rid of these buildings. I don't need you to rebuild. I need to, I need to raise the land up. There we go. Okay. So I think we've got roughly, uh, yeah, I think this is, this is good. We got what I need here. So just a quick little blend on this side should be good. Okay, right there blend blend if this is a little lower that's fine as long as the wall holds up of course if it ever goes over then it's going all the way over but you know it, it's never it's not gonna go over okay <laughs> it's not gonna happen yeah, happy thoughts okay all right so we're gonna just lower that just a little bit so i can slope that and i may not be able to because the game will usually tell me that i can't uh okay it is gonna let me come up that's pretty good it's not well, I need to, I need it to curve. I, w I want it to curve. I should say, uh, no, so I can go straight, but I can't, I mean, that's fine. If I can go straight, then I can go straight. Whatever. It's cool. Right here. It goes blue, but very, very quickly. And then it goes away. I can go about like that. That seems good. Right, so we're raising the wall up a little bit higher on this side. I think that may be a little bit too high, huh? I mean, if this is good now, then we don't need to go quite that high. I think I'm a little bit too high there. Let's bring this back down. We'll go out a little bit and then over. No? I don't need to be 10 meters up, though. Come on now. Might have to delete this road. I mean, it would let me go in a straight line before, so maybe it, I'm hoping it lets me do that again. Wow, it's that's a big change. Can I go in a smaller step? I think it's still high. I need that. See how the, the sidewall changes? So you have the railing. If you want to know whether you're going to have zoning or not, right? You have the railing all the way around. That means there's no zoning there, but it will switch to that. And then you don't have a railing on that side. And that means there's going to be zoning on that side. So if I can click without that railing being there, if I make it, make it blue with that railing out of there, it means that I'll have all of zoning on the road. And that's what I want is zoning. So let me play around with this a bit. This is like the tedious part that's not good content. And uh, I'll just be right back when I'm done. 
Okay, I think I'm done with this tool. <laughs> At least for a long time, dude. Um, I've made this wall to protect the city all the way around the damn city now. And, uh, you know, I think that's about good. Especially since it looks to me like the water level is dropping. So it doesn't really even need to be so much higher anymore anyway. It looks like we're kind of fine. So until it becomes necessary to make this one around... And I probably will do it only until about here. And after that, this becomes like the country, all right? Speaking of the country, so many people coming from the country trying to get over here. Is there not another route that I uh, just... Oh, well, you know what? I did disrupt a lot of the traffic and stuff that was through here just now. So maybe there's some other people taking a different route. So uh, what I want to do is uh, connect this up again because I did disconnect a lot of stuff. I need to make sure everything is good now. So we're going to bring you out to about there. That'll connect you out with this side as long as I can go out and do something like this as well. Just real quick. How about we do it from here, I guess? Right about there should be good. There we go. That's a pretty hilly. That's a pretty extreme hill. We don't really need to be quite so extreme, do we? So I think maybe we uh, can pull this back. Maybe flatten this out or even this out just a bit more here. Let's kind of do something like this. Just to get that to be nice and even. There we go. And then probably doing from here to here should be a pretty straightforward thing, yeah? There we go. Piece of cake. Okay, we can take our stuff that we moved before. Let's move it back over where it belongs. I still want this road, actually, to exist. So we're going to bring this out this way and then head this direction with it and then connect there. That seems good. There's still enough room for people to zone and stuff on that side, so that's good. Go ahead and put you... Oh, not enough room. Here we go. That works for me. Road maintenance there. Police department. Put you back over like so. Fire department can stay right where it is. That's fine with me. All right. Uh, so I put everything back. I didn't... I still have to, like, rezone all of this stuff now, right? With this side of town uh, i think i need more college education there's also a lot of people complaining about high rent now i lowered their taxes and then they complain about high rent so we're gonna need a lot more what in the world is this it's just another traffic accident you know you guys you gotta stop with the accidents all right i got plenty of road crew right my road maintenance team has been awesome i thought but maybe i'm wrong roads let's take a look here road condition is there anything red no, the road condition is fine. So the next thing to look at, I suppose, is traffic. Which, you know, with the accident, that's probably put some stress in other places. This has been pretty busy. Everything's looked like it was flowing pretty well. But, you know, there's clearly some places here where traffic is backed up. Our buses are at a standstill. And a lot of this has to do, with, you know, maybe with, you know, the, ch the fact that I changed roads and have to rep reposition things. Right, like this road over here. I need to kind of get these connected again. So there's other alternative routes and stuff. So uh, that should maybe be the next focus, right? Is is seeing about correcting a lot of these traffic issues that are spawning up because of things being disconnected. So tell you what we'll do. Let's have this road go ahead and connect here as long as it doesn't create a problem. There it goes. Let's go ahead and have uh, this road that's in here. We're going to have you, I need to like redo the elevation here because it is wonky, isn't it? All of this needs to go back down to a sensible elevation. There we go. Just bring this right back down and then we'll just kind of blend it right through here, I guess. All right. That's a little bit more sensible. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to take this road. I guess we'll just make it an alley. I don't, I don't really need it to be anything major and bring that over there and connect it to that. So there's that connection. Uh, we can go ahead and connect this one up again like it was before, although it is pretty steep. But you know what? That's not that's not super unreasonable or anything. Um, I, I don't like how these guys... I mean, I know that they want their house level. I get that. But I guess I have to make the road... Yeah, I need to make the road higher. So all of these houses need to be removed. This is why I said I should probably just delete everything in here and redo it from scratch. Right? I think I should just redo this entire area from scratch because this area is already like it's it's indented down. It's it's already too low. And if I want to raise the elevation in here and have these guys up higher to go along with this new road, 
then I kind of need to delete everything. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to delete all of this. Now they're going to love housing in this city because it's way, way too expensive, they said. So let me give you new apartments in this area, all at higher elevations. Oh, yes. We're tearing it all down. Uh, you know what? This right here can go as well. This doesn't really fit our mold anyway, you know? Okay, so I did it. I spent the time to do it. Uh, the the land is all level with this road as it goes all the way around. It's, it's not level. I shouldn't say level. Uh, it's actually elevated slightly above this road in most places. Now, I haven't taken the time to take the dirt away from the outside wall yet because I don't care yet, but I, I will do that. Um, so now it's like, how do we organize this part of town, right? Uh, I think uh, a, a grid maybe is an okay idea for maybe this part here. But as you get around this part, we're going to need something else, right? Uh, the reason why this road is so busy is because I removed this bridge. So I just need to get this bridge back and then everything is good. So I think maybe we'll do the bridge first. That way I know what I'm working around this roundabout all the way over. And we're going to go at a little bit more extreme angle this time. Uh, since we know boats aren't going through here anymore, it doesn't really matter how I uh, structure that. So we're going to go to the large roads. And uh, we're going to make this bridge come like this. We're going to go up, let's say 20 meters up. Seems fine to me. We're going to go about there, I think. Seems good. We can go all the way across this way. Uh, yeah, we'll go about here with it, I guess. 180 degrees is what I'm looking for. Yep. And then we'll head down from there. And we're going to want to go with a little bit of a curve here. So we'll curve it into the roundabout on this side maybe maybe it'll be about like this okay so there's our bridge now of course it doesn't look the same way as it did so let's make it look the same way we're gonna go with i think it was this one right was it this bridge that was doing we were using before I actually forget it says the distance is too short uh because it's between all these little stanchions here so we're just gonna stanchions they're not really stanchions are they they're like uh what do you call them? Just pillars, right? Support beams, support pillars. I don't know. Either way, it's too, too little distance. So now we have to go ahead and grab it from here. And we just bring it all the way over to here. And there it is. A new bridge. Huh? Everybody can love our new bridge. And then if I wanted, you know, they need to go into the roundabout to come into here and to go underneath it. Yeah, it might be just a little bit uncalled for. I might choose to... Uh, have maybe another roundabout here a smaller one or something that goes that way i don't know yeah i haven't decided yet but uh let's take the road i have no idea what i'm going to do here so we're just going to kind of do it on the fly and hopefully it's let's hope it's uh it's a good one a good good idea uh, so we'll go about 90 degrees here and then we'll cut in to match up and meet up with this road right here i kind of i don't want to get in the way of zoning but i did an okay job of making sure that the whole thing was zoning so that was one of the hardest parts about this whole deal. Uh, I don't think that's actually connected. Sure isn't. So let's bring that out and we'll try going from this side. The, the hardest part about this is getting it to where it doesn't do the bridge thing. Like right there, it'll turn it into a bridge and I don't want that. So you have to kind of come in at an angle in order to preserve that. It's going to have to be like this. It's the only way to preserve that design is to come in at an angle. Uh, I find that's the only that's the, that's the only solution you got all right so it's going to take up a little bit extra zoning room there unfortunately but uh it's fine we'll we'll just make do with what we got there uh so that's one road that comes through here i think we probably should have another one and we'll go ahead and make it let's say uh uh and how i want to do this probably maybe here we can actually come in right along this one like it's a standard grid so we can bring it in about like this yeah that's probably fine and then from here we're gonna go that way with it instead and we're gonna con we're gonna connect this road on this side and if i come straight at it looks like it's gonna be okay with me coming straight at it this time so fair enough i think i'm gonna have to disrupt two of those tiles anyway for zoning so 
don't think it'll really matter so we'll just go in like that okay so those will be two entrance points and then the third one or the next one i'm gonna make it this road here so you're gonna move over and then this road is gonna get upgraded like that and then you are gonna come straight over this way and then in like that so again more access points into this area and this time I'm, I'm tapping into some place that didn't have zoning anyway so now we have zones here and here and we didn't have zones here before uh okay um maybe maybe a roundabout right here that could be okay because we can then bring this road over if it allows me to do the roundabout I will and usually it does it's been it's been doing okay with that it's been uh kind of nice looking actually to have roundabouts going around these little areas like this I've enjoyed having these um we'll do it here too just because we can um we don't need it over there so we'll leave that alone uh you know I could do it here too it's not a big deal and you know what why not I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about the roundabouts today uh although it doesn't let me do it there in valid shape yeah all right so no roundabouts there that's fine okay so um let's move this back to be back over here and eh, I don't want to get in the way of anything anything good oh I can nest it right there and it'd be fine really yeah I can cool all right we'll do it there then uh the park and stuff needs to go back over here where it was so we'll put that park I'm gonna change its location a little bit I think yeah we're gonna make it off of this road uh you know what now I'm gonna bring it over like this side we'll bring it right here that's fine the zoning should still be good here yep and then this is a dog park the dog park can go maybe uh I was gonna say put it right here yeah you can put it right there but it doesn't have a road connection there because that's not there's no zoning there so I'm gonna have to take a street like a little street right here and just do something like this and I don't think I can get zoning on that either it's just counting it as elevated a little bit weird but all right um all right fine 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 we'll just we'll put it somewhere else let's put it uh on the corner over here yeah, we'll just pop it right there okay so at this point I think we make a big residential area here right it's, it's got to be a place where people live we have so many people saying high rent we've got a lot of people saying there's not enough workers that have skills so we need people to be located here we're also going to have people located here the ground pollution is nearly nearly gone so that'll be great one of the things I could maybe get away with I'm thinking is either putting a college here or a college here but I, I kind of like the idea of having more people here so uh we'll go ahead and just put the college on I think on the other side of the, the bridge okay so we'll go ahead and have a road that takes people into about that far it could be a, de a dead end that's fine with me I put another one let's say right about here I could also be a fairly like that's a good dead end too uh-huh um and that, that means that people are most likely going to be hitting this road and uh, I don't need them to, to hit that entirely so why don't I give them a way to turn uh right here and uh what we can do is I want to eliminate lights here I don't want there to be any lights at all so we're going to go over to road services I'm going to take the lights away and then I'm going to say no left turns on this road and if I do that I believe it's going to stop them from turning left at least I thought it was but it didn't do that it didn't do what I thought it was going to do let me uh no right turn no left turn that's what I want it's not it's not doing it it's not changing the the rules here ah there it is okay so no left turn right there is what I'm looking for okay and uh this one here is gonna allow people to turn around I kind of don't want that either but that's okay yep so now we have a row where you can access on this side but there's no left turns here so everybody just keeps moving and that's great because if you want to go from here and get in here you just hit the roundabout go all the way around and then you're in all right that's that's fairly that's that's good that's pretty realistic to what I have to deal with on a daily basis too so um all right so how about we go with a road right in here I like this idea too let's bring a road 
Uh, I'm gonna get in the way of the zoning on that, but maybe it's not a big deal. It's kind of a big building to have right next to the bridge anyway. There we go. Put a road in there on that side. So it's not a dead end anymore. Uh, and then we could have this one accessing this side too. I suppose that would be okay, right? But again, no left turns here. So you're gonna bring it down like that. And then there's still no left turns. So yeah, we it, it just refreshed it, it reset it. So we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna say no left turns on this intersection, please. Yep. Um, okay, I did it there, but it's not doing it here. I need it to do it here too. Oh, it already, no, I'm, I'm misreading this. Yeah, 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 you're good. Okay, perfect. Let's do uh, zoning stuff, huh? I'm thinking everybody wants a lot of housing and the medium housing seems fine to me. So we're gonna have medium housing pretty much. These areas here will have a bunch of medium housing. Uh, right there's fine. We'll do medium housing here and here, here and here. That seems good. Uh, we're gonna do some mixed stuff on this bit, on this big road here. We'll have uh, some, I think probably just dedicated commercial along the water. I'm all right with that. Just dedicated commercial all along the water like this is good. Uh, maybe we could have some people living here. Maybe like a, a mixed zoning there too, be fine. Um, let's get some mixed. Uh, you know what? Let's let them exist as commercial buildings right here. I need more people though, right? No, we should, we should really do this. I should commit to having mixed zoning through here. Yeah. I need to have more people. Um, we'll do some mixed here and here as well. Although living on this road, probably not a good idea. Maybe we don't do any zoning there at all. Let's shift this zone to be this road. Uh, so we'll do that with the walking paths. We'll just kind of go like that. And that will shift this to be on this road instead. And then we'll go in and say, hey, you should be a, a house as well. And then as soon as they start building here, I can remove this. There we go. I'll just remove that right now. And then nobody has to be the wiser there. Okay. So a whole bunch of businesses and a whole bunch of apartment buildings and stuff. They can all start uh, jamming away at this. Now, since we have a roundabout here, I'm going to give them an alternative route through the middle right here and get it into that. So now we can use this roundabout to go many different places there. And look at all the <laughs> all the tower cranes are just jamming. I love it. Uh, now we need all, all the other stuff in here too. So the dog parks and the things that we that we moved. These things aren't there's no road here. Uh, I actually probably should put that road back. Let's put that road back. We'll put this road right like that. And you know what? I'm going to I'm going to put another one right through this business. I didn't think I was going to, but I am. I'm going to put one right there. There we go. So even more access points on that big road. Yeah. Uh, something happened with this. It's condemned already. Did you? Okay. So the zoning changed slightly. I'm not sure when that happened after you started building for sure. So we'll do that. And then you can just start building in the correct place. I guess this part here stopped being, no, this is supposed to be a commercial business. Yeah. yeah it's supposed to be commercial. I, I don't want people living there. Yeah. 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 That's, that's fine. Okay. Much better. Now we need some attractions. We need parks and stuff. So in these little gaps, that's where we're going to put those. The dog park's already there. That's good. Uh, let's grab a tennis court. Can we place this? Uh, see, like I can't get it on the zone. He's going to have to, if I put it here, will that, yeah, you're not counting this as zoned road. It's so weird. Okay. Uh, we'll place this maybe back behind this. We need a place where they can, they can walk here though. Hmm. No, I'm going to replace this house. Screw it. I want this. I want this there. Tennis court right there. Um, probably along the water, we could have another park. They can like a large, ooh, large plazas. Enormous plaza. Yeah. How about right in the middle of all of this madness? These water side ones can just be a little smaller. So we can do something like... We can have this be... Where's the road connection? 
It's on that side, yeah. So we could put something, put it something like this. Ooh, heck yeah, man. That'll look pretty cool sitting right there by the water. Yeah, I think so. And then we'll just have this, uh, I guess it's supposed to be a regular road, but I don't know. I feel like it doesn't need to have like a big old road connection like this. I feel like that's fine, right? And then they need walking paths to here. Yeah. So one road into there and then the walking path connection can be from here to there. And then from all to there to there. Is that all that's needed? Or could I get away with not having the road and just having the walking paths? I don't know. On the other side of this, we could place... Uh, I kind of wanted to have a football field. At some point, I wanted to have a football field in the city. And I wasn't sure where I was going to put it, but now I feel like I want it here. You know, like a one big football field right here. Could be cool. A soccer field is a little bit smaller, and it does fit here as opposed to that one not fitting here. So maybe the soccer field can go here first. But I just have to move this. So we could switch this to be... Maybe back here like this instead, if it fits. Unsure, we'll see. And then let's put this uh, soccer field in. But it wants to be, it wants to be on this side, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not gonna fit there. This needs to be moved. I, I want the soccer field or football field here instead. I think it'll look, I think it'll look cooler, and I think it's, it's a bit more advanced, isn't it? You unlock this way later. American football fields. Yeah, seating areas on both sides. Yeah, outdoor recreation, outdoor recreation, and then there's summer recreation because it's an outdoor community pool. I'm not sure it's any better than the regular big park, though. Um, a large city park is three outdoor recreation. Wow. And then the campfire site, which I think is what that is. It's five. Yeah, five outdoor recreation. So this, this is, football field is way better. We definitely want this American football field more than anything here. Uh, so we're going to put it on this side like this. And if I can fit it in here, that business is going to have to rebuild. And that's okay with me too. Boom. So now we got commercial over here like that. Okay. And then uh, this little area here. I don't know if it's going to be super busy with the football field being there, but maybe this road should be upgraded. You know, maybe we should uh, look into doing that. We can upgrade this road here, here, and here on this side, which makes that one rebuild. That's fine. Um, and then from there, we could just bring this road up and over and then put some parking lots right here and here for the football field, right? The chirpers. So put a medium parking lot. Go ahead and snap at the grid again. Uh, it doesn't fit there, really. Oh, it's so close though. Can I can I cheat it? Can I cheat it into position? Oh, oh, no! It's too, it's just too big. Okay, small parking lot here then. Uh, another one. Oh no way! That road though. Ah, <laughs> uh, that road. Okay, new idea. I know how to fit. I know how we're going to fit this. This road is going to get downgraded. Like that. Huh? Yeah. And then from there, we can put this parking lot in. Bam. I'm going to have to make you rebuild again, aren't I? Nah, just the two are fine. All right. I think that looks a lot better, right? Than what we had before, right? We have got this football field right there. Seems good. We're going to want to have... Uh, more housing right there. Please build it. There you go. Um, uh, tennis court being right there is cool. I was hoping for maybe something to go here, but since this isn't a zoned road, I wonder if there's a way I could redraw that to make it a zoned road. Like maybe just simply replacing it will allow me to like, how about right here? That gives me zoning and then I connect it, right? What's wrong with that? We could totally do that. I can get away with that. All right, uh, and then basketball court could go in this little area for fun as well. It's like a sports area here, right? A community sports area. Skate, ooh, the skate park though. Skate, skate park would fit here better, right? Maybe we move this over on the other side. 
Sorry, businesses. You have to rebuild. <laughs> You'll figure out how big you're going to be. Don't worry. You're going to get there. I, I believe in you. Um, where is it? Right here. And then the skate park can go right here. Oh, yeah. Definitely better. And then some tiny, some smaller shops can open up right there. All right, cool. So we've rebuilt this whole area. We should have a lot of people. They're, you know, they're still complaining about high rent and everything. But, you know, as we expand more to get more residential areas, we'll start to get more people and they're going to complain a lot less. I need to work on mass transit as well. I need to do a lot more work with mass transit to move more people. We're getting a lot of accidents and stuff. I'm starting to think maybe I need more road crews out as well. So I need to start looking at that as a possibility as well. Um, plenty of bridges to cross the, the river. I don't think we have any major hiccups in terms of... Uh, you know what? Let's put this campfire site right here. That's, that's silly, though. Is that silly? I feel like that's silly. Yeah, it shouldn't be there. I, I think it's more fitting to have it over in this area. You know? Like, put it over... Here, let's, let's do this. Like that. See, that makes a lot more sense. It's in the trees, you know? You can go over there. If you want to go camping, you need to leave the urban environment, huh? And go slightly over here to urban, but not quite as urban. Yeah. Uh, so now we get to see how people are traveling. And it looks like everybody wants to use this road uh, for now. There's traffic build up because of an accident, but, uh, you know, this is the part where I have to look at things and say, you know, which roads are people preferring and why? And, um, right now everybody seems to want to go down the, the street into this bridge. So maybe getting another bridge, uh, on this side, maybe we cross over here could be a good idea too. Uh, this road is plenty big enough. Yeah, we could have a, a roundabout maybe here, and then it could cross. Uh, hmm, how about right, right here maybe, uh, or on this side? I guess it doesn't really matter. But we're gonna have another bridge that crosses here, and then we got this one, which is pretty straightforward. Although, yeah, you can enter it from this side. You just have to go that way. You can't turn left. Well, you can actually, so the left turns are possible from these side roads. They're able to turn left, but if you're on the main road, you can't turn left. And that just keeps traffic moving. It turns everything into a, a yield as opposed to having to stop at lights, which is just going to flow way better. Yeah. All right. I'm going to leave this video here. I need to assess the traffic situation. And uh, when we come back for the next one, I will probably end up having a bridge from here or here it is maybe it's it's probably better to put it here this isn't really developed yet so i still have to like tweak this so a bridge from here over could do some wonders it, it would make it to where these guys will use this bridge but these guys would be more motivated to use this one uh and that'll that'll alleviate some traffic over there too um and then yeah who knows maybe we'll even have one here that goes across you know we're not having anybody going that way um, as far as garbage, I think we've solved that issue. Although, again, more accidents popping up on the roads over here. Wondering if I need to expand this, make this bigger. We still have so many cars coming into the city. Look at the Like, just... Wow. <laughs> row after row. Car after car, man. Everybody's just flowing into the city right now. So, we got a lot of vehicles and uh accidents and stuff causing everybody they're all bypassing that well not all of them but most of them are bypassing that to come straight over here and then they're making their way that way or that way yeah you got to choose which way you want to go all right i am going to leave you here thanks for watching i appreciate you we'll see you next time Bye bye